Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Tour. You guys, Happy New Year. Oh my gosh. I missed you guys so much making videos over the holidays. Um, for those who don't know, I did pre-film a handful of those videos, so I haven't really sat down and done an island tour at all for the last few weeks. So I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season and start to your new year. And this is the first island tour of 2021. So this is the island of Melihua. It's by Meggie. As per usual, I will make sure to put everything in the description box below regarding this island. It is a Japanese village inspired island. As you can tell by the cherry blossoms, I am so eager to tour because I need some springtime vibes in my life. <laughs> so with that said, let's look at the map. Now I am gonna hide the dream address uh, temporarily until she feels comfortable releasing it publicly, but make sure to go give at Melihua Crossing a follow on Instagram. Uh, that's likely where they will be announcing the dream address when it's available to the public. So we have two villagers right here, or residents. I always conflate villagers and residents. It's not that hard to remember, I just always forget it. Anyway, we have Maggie, and then we have a camper on the beach, okay. Then for villagers, we have Lolly, Raymond, Mary, Silvana, my sweet baby, Fauna, Genji, who I never really see, Tangy, Hazel, who's so cute, Kiki, and Poppy, who I love. I think Poppy is super underrated. All right, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. First island tour of the year, and it is an orange airport, which is my favorite. It's what I wish I had. <laughs> but I think that's a good omen for getting started. <gasps> yes, give me these spring warm vibes uh, injected into my veins. Look at how cute this little airport just seating area is. Oh my God, can we talk about how she's sitting right on <laughs> the middle of the bench, not even in a chair? How pretty. Ugh. And this bridge, love a good diagonal bridge moment. Can we talk about how pretty this is, especially with little Silvana right there in the background? Absolutely stunning. So, and there's a sign right there that says that this goes straight to resident services. <gasps> cute little bikes. Ooh, I like how they're backwards like that too. That's cute. So here's her resident services and we have another bike area. Oh, this is like a little post office. Well, how cute is that? Okay, we'll explore that way in a minute. I want to go on the other side because when I looked at the map, it looked like more of the structures were this way. Hi, Silvana. Another diagonal bridge. Oh, I just love it. Oh my goodness. So I am super tempted to just time travel all day, every day because I want these cherry blossoms. I think they're so pretty. Ooh, look at this view. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That is a beautiful, beautiful view. So we have a sign here for, it looks like Able Sisters. How pretty. Yeah, Able Sisters is tucked right up here. Oh my gosh, I love how there's a dressing room outside. Are you kidding? That's brilliant. That is genius. Why is this the first time I feel like I'm seeing that? That's so smart. It's almost like a no brainer. And it's like, nope, Maggie's just a genius. That's all. And then we have her nook's cranny on this side. How cute. I love the symmetry too. Oh my gosh. I love seeing boxes and stuff in crates next to nook's crannies or nook's cranny. <laughs> I think it looks so good. Like a shipment has just come in. They're doing their restock of all of their inventory. Obsessed. Okay, so now let's go this way. We have a little snack area. Also, I know it was in a while, like uh, several videos ago where I was like, I need a brown telephone booth. I didn't know they existed and I finally got one. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it, but I love them. I love that item. Ooh, this bridge. Oh, and look, there's a lookout area over there. So we'll have to, oh my gosh, look at how perfect that like lined up. Hold on. <laughs> Can we talk about how cool this view is? How it looks just, you know, obviously 
empty. Wow. These cherry blossoms are so pretty against the bamboo trees. And here's the first little villager area, which is so sweet. I also loved how on the map too, it was super like, it wasn't a neighborhood, but they're very much purposefully placed together, the villager houses. Like there's a section of two, then a section of another two, then a section of four. Oh, this is our campsite. Well, hello, how cute. Can I just say too, I absolutely love this custom stone path that she has right here. I actually used to have this exact same one, but how when I used it, it looked like a big pile of poop. But when she does it, it looks so good. Life is not fair, is it? <laughs> or maybe I'm just not <laughs> the best at this game. Yes, and here's that lookout area. <gasps> I just, that's so pretty, is it not? Oh, I love it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Absolutely stunning. Also, I think all of her flowers are like shades of white. They're all different, obviously. Like she has the hyacinths, the lilies, the mums, the tulips, but they're all white, which I think is really pretty. It kind of ties everything together, does it not? Oh, this is so fun. I know it's only been like a few days, but I miss doing island tours and here we are. Okay, let's go back. Um, I don't know if this is a secret path, is it? Oh. Oh, yes, it is. What is back here? Ooh, <gasps> is this a neighborhood? Please tell me it's a neighborhood. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah. This island really does an incredible job about like capturing all of the cultural elements of her uh, Japanese village aesthetic mixed with like this beautiful nature element too. I mean, that is so cool. Oh my God, can we talk about how cute? Hold on, I'm gonna have to pan up. Can you see it? Can I sit? Look at that little book, <laughs> the little dinosaur book. <laughs> Just right there on the edge. Oh, I love that. I just realized I haven't seen any of her beach. Why am I so bad about neglecting beaches? <gasps> oh, and of course I walk right into a graveyard because that's karma. That's how karma works. When you ignore beaches, then they say you're gonna die, Katie. <laughs> and then a sweet little lighthouse. Ooh, and windmill area. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, I love the way all of these structures look together. Yeah, that looks so nice. Okay, we'll go down the beach this way. And I think this is gonna take us, if my mind is serving me correctly, oh, look how cute, this little camping area, to um, the other resident, the one that has the tent. <gasps> okay, how smart is this to layer the clothesline with that fabric in the background? That is pretty genius, I must say. Then we have a little spa area. Oh, I wanna go to a spa so badly. I haven't been in, I don't know, a long, long, long time. Oh, hi, Mary, you're so cute. But that just sounds so nice, right? And here we go. This is where the camper is. Ooh, how cool. It really does look like they just kind of settled right here and maybe they're even selling these fish at this market. I wonder if there's anything in the tent. You know what, we won't know unless we look, so. Let's look. <laughs> That's my motto today. <gasps> yes, yes, there is stuff in here. Oh my gosh, how cute is the seahorse um, container? I didn't know it was a cylinder. Oh, precious. I love that little element of storytelling. You know, that the camper is also fishing on the island, maybe selling the fish, or... That whole story aspect is so cute. 
love. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. Look at this adorable little seating area. So if you guys are familiar with Sweeney Todd, then this reminds me of the beach scene in Sweeney Todd. Uh, that's really just what this umbrella reminds me of is the parasol in that scene in particular. Ooh, I love this. Like come get yourself a book, hop in that bathtub and just like Relax, queen. You deserved it. It has been a long year. Refresh yourself and revive for 2021. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with Silvana's house. I just think it's so pretty. That's all, moving along. <laughs> also, how smart is this? To have um, this towel decorated with like a newspaper type of custom code. So it looks like a long paper scattered on the ground. Look at this little secret little spot. Ooh. Okay, then we'll go this way. And then I think this takes us back to the airport. Wait, we just completely ignored this duck pond. What's wrong with me? I don't know. But how cute. That's a really well done, like, river-esque type of... Uh, uh, water escaping. <laughs> wow, words are hard today. I'm sorry. Words are very hard. <laughs> and here's like a little outdoor office. How nice. Cute. Yeah, so this takes us right back to the airport. Okay, so... We went this, no, we did not go this way. Oh, this is just a nice little back area. This is super sweet. Oh, I see a friend. Move, move, let's go, let's go, let's go. Must see the friend. Must see the friend before we go on the other direction. <laughs> Welcome, thank you. Okay, moving along. So let's go back through resident services and now let's go to the, I think I can cut through here. Yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty all of this pink and green is. That is beautiful. Also, the amount of shrubbery too. That's so well done. Oh, a nice little mini campsite. How sweet. I love the amount of like laundry clothesline she has. I think that looks great. How cute is this little outdoor sink right here in the middle of these stalls? I mean, come on, that's so cute. Let me turn it off. We don't want to waste water. Wow, a cute little plant shop. Okay, before I fully explore the beach, I want to go back this way because I was intrigued by a little entrance back here. Ooh, what's this though? Oh, cute. So she kept her pumpkin patch, which is adorable. Also, it looks like quite nice. You know, I was kind of concerned about like how certain items would transition between seasons, but this looks like really beautiful. And her Lily of the Valley sprinkled in here too, just to offset the colors. It's really, really pretty. I love it. Um, which way do I want to go? Also, these grates, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I think I'm going in circles. <laughs> I'm definitely going in circles. <laughs> oh, I miss doing tours. This is so much fun. Like I said, I know it was only a few days that I was technically like absent, but man. This just makes my heart happy. Okay, so this is another villager area. I love, okay, so smart to put a little AC outside of their house. I mean, that's exactly how it would be in real life. So that's brilliant. And every house has one, which is so smart. Ooh, <gasps> whoa. So here you can look down at like a little fish market back there. Okay, we'll have to explore there in a minute. Ooh, 
But before we do that, I want to, I think I want to go this way. If, never mind, <laughs> I'm going to go this way. <laughs> and I'm going to hop. Oh, gosh, Lolly is so stinking cute. <gasps> Wait, watch this. Boom. Into the bucket. Well, hypothetically, it should be going into the bucket, you know. We just have to, you know, use our imaginations for a little bit that it did go into the bucket. How did you get over here, Mary? Weren't you on the other side? She's like, girl, I walked. I have legs. What are you talking about? Ooh, and another sweet laundry area. Okay, I have said this a few times, but I think it's brilliant to put laundry on the beach. Or on the beach rocks, specifically. I think it just looks so good. That's my personal preference, I love it. Hello, you are so cute. We have more fish back here. <gasps> Ooh, is this, yeah, okay. This isn't the one that we saw from afar, but this is a really cool fishing dock. Look at all the, of the like depth from the beach behind it too. Like there's so much dimension at play here. So, so well done. This great QR code right here, uh, or custom design, I always call them QR codes, but you guys know what I mean. I think that is used so well on this island. It looks so good. Okay, so I think the way to get back there is by me going back this way. Guys, it's a new year and I have made the resolution of being better at directions in general, but <laughs> but also especially on Animal Crossing. <gasps> oh, okay, yeah. This is that fish market we saw. Oh my gosh, how good does that look? How the fencing up there is just like a roof. Like it looks like a roof. Whoa, this is so great. I mean, like, so, so great. Wow, and then little shops kind of sprinkled throughout. So we were in earlier, like, the more rural, like, kind of um, grown out part of her island. And then this is definitely, like, the more villagey, um, more urban part of her island. Which is just fantastic. Another one. Another one. I cannot help myself. I can't. I can't. Okay, so I think we have not been back this way unless I'm completely making things up. Oh, wait. Oh, more secret beach. No, we didn't come back here yet. Oh, how cute. Oh, I'm obsessed with the cherry blossoms in the wind. Oh. little secret beach. I love how she mixes up her pathing too. Like every area is a little bit different. She uses different pathing here and there. Oh, I mean, these, these bridge views are just to die for. They really truly are. Oh, this is her house. Oh, yay, good. I'm glad I stumbled across it. <laughs> I almost forgot <laughs> that houses existed. Okay, we'll go in in one second. <gasps> yep, see, this is what I was talking about, how like on the rocks, unless you like pan up, it just looks like a really nice play with depth perception. It just looks so good. Also, her house exterior is so cute, so. I'm sure the inside is gonna be cute too. Whoa, you know what? I'm not sure what I was expecting, but I feel like I wasn't expecting this. Like it looks so like lived in and very, very cozy. Like this isn't a home someone like just moved in and like placed their furniture. It's like they, they are living here, you know? Oh, I love that. Also obsessed with the table runner on this table. 
cute. Okay, let's go in the left room first. I'm gonna mix it up today. You know, keep you, I'm gonna keep you guys on your toes. Ooh, this bathroom. Can I just say, I wish in real life my bathroom looked like this with like the plants everywhere. I just want a bathroom full of plants. Specifically plants where they need high humidity so I have an excuse to take like a thousand baths and showers in like high heat. <laughs> this is stunning. This is a really beautiful bathroom. Okay, now let's check out this back room and see what's in here. Oh my gosh, how whimsical is this? And the dropped tickets on the ground is so cute. Wow, I, this is an incredible bedroom, guest room. I love how all of the trophies are in this room too. This looks so nice and I like how all of the lights are off except for like the hyacinth, the mush, you know, the actual lamps in the room, but the overhead lights are off. Ooh, it looks so good. <gasps> that's my bed. I have that bed. Yeah, that's a really fun room. Okay, now let's go the room on the right side. Oh, she has a hamster. I didn't even see that earlier. Oh my gosh, look at this little kitchen. Oh my gosh, it's a kitchen laundry room hybrid. That, my friends, is brilliant. That is brilliant. I love it. I'm going to pan this way. I don't want to ruin the the um, rock wall, you know? Because the rock wall is used as a divider right there. But I don't want to like completely spoil the element of like mystery with that. <laughs> wow, like I said, it definitely feels like this is a home that is lived in. There's people there, there's people visiting, they're cooking, they're lounging, they're bathing. Like everything just feels so nice. Um, okay, let's go upstairs first. Oh, see, perfect example of exactly what I was just talking about. Like the socks on the ground and the boxes and how you have like this storage and living space. Oh my gosh, the telescope pointing out the window. Oh, I die. That's so cute. Also, please do not um, drink every time I say the word cute because I'm sure I say it so many times there was someone that commented on a previous video that was like uh fun fact you said cute 52 times i was like yeah do not <laughs> do not turn that into a drinking game i do not want to be held liable <laughs> for anyone's uh drunken antics whoa it's like a little sleepover kids room oh this is precious I don't see like kids rooms too often or like play rooms like this, but with the bunk beds and the sleeping bags, something about this gives me so much nostalgia as a kid whenever I used to have sleepovers in like our playroom. And it's like, you know, you can like sleep in the actual like bed, but no, something about sleeping bags just makes it feel way more fun. That is adorable. I love this house. It was not what I, I actually don't know what I was expecting going into this house probably like a super um asian inspired like kitchen or um just decor in general but that was like so cozy and sweet also can we talk about how pretty the cherry blossoms are the bamboo is against that beautiful brown tone house it's so good everything is so good so let's go this way. I think we have not seen the top right portion of the map. Ugh, I'm obsessed. These waterfalls, you guys. If you want some waterfall inspo, 
look no further than here because the bridge dynamics and the waterfall dynamics are just absolutely stunning. Up here, let's see. Oh, there's like a nice little Japanese garden over here. Oh, this just makes me wanna like sit and read a book. Hello, can you sit down? There we go. <laughs> wow. I love this. Something about this is a very peaceful, but still like hip and happening island, you know? Like I feel very calm, but I also feel like there's plenty to do, plenty to explore. Ooh, a little park. Okay, let's go up here first. Stop. No way. Is this a little school? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Let's go in here first because I'm way too curious. How adorable is this? I just keep getting surprised and impressed on this island. Look at how cute. It really does feel like we're in a schoolhouse. Oh my gosh, you have little cubbies. Like you have a little cubby for the backpacks. And then this could be like a little storage area. Vending machine, of course. Wow, I was not expecting a little school back here. That was the sweetest little surprise. And then a locker. <laughs> oh my gosh, and a playground. This is so cute. Wow. Yeah, I was not expecting that. This is a great example too on how you can put whatever you want on your island. It, it, themes aside, like this looks so stunning and it's so well made. And like, you don't have to like color within the lines, if that makes sense. Like just because you pick a certain theme does not mean you have to stick to it. Like, I love that little surprise. And then look, here's a little soccer area too. Okay, this is so perfect. It definitely fits in with like the aspect of this being a village. Oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> like you very much get that sense of community. And then she ties in that Japanese kind of garden aesthetic so nicely as well. And then another little shop here. Oh, and we're at her museum, which, hello, makes perfect sense considering a museum is where you learn and like where you gather information i wonder if this is meant to be like the entrance to the schoolhouse and then you go upstairs and that's where the classrooms are so creative so creative i can and then this way is this back corner of the beach oh how fun and you have more beach camping a little hammock Oh my gosh, these weeds on the beach look so good. I just love how overgrown it feels. And you have another lookout, and then this must be your little stargazing, an astronomy study area. This island has been so much fun to tour. I mean, I'm gonna light the fire. <laughs> I mean, every little bit has just been a delight. All right, let me go this way. I'm sure we've missed a little something. Oh, so we're back here to the fish market. Okay. I think we might have seen it all, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary friends. This is so wonderful. I had an utmost joy touring this island. And I feel so, A, ready for spring and summer vibes, and B, just, I, I swear, every single tour that I do, it's like, oh, yep, that's what I want to do next. <laughs> I'm sure you guys feel the same way. Amazing. 
Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this island tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to go give Meggie some love. Again, all of the information regarding Melihua and Meggie, the creator of this island, will be in the description box below. And if you want to join me on more island tours, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and then comment down below on a tour you'd like to see next. Or if you would like for me to tour your island, there is a Google Forms where you can submit your island for me to check out. And uh, if it's accepted, then I will make sure to tour it. I always need some more inspo. So I love you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.